Today is the last day for painting our line designs on our paper. The first thing that you need to do is check your artwork very carefully and make sure that there's no white spots that you didn't get to fill in last time. If there are white spots, go ahead and paint those in first. When you fill in all your white spaces, I like to go in and add even more line designs with paint on top of the colors that I've already done. Now, it's kind of a cool opportunity for us today because a lot of our paint is already dry if we painted it last time. And if you paint wet paint on top of dry paint, it's totally different than painting on top of wet paint. For example, if you add wet paint on top of wet paint, you're going to get kind of this blendy look that we practiced last time. But if the paint is already dry, something totally different is going to happen. So I will show you what you can do. For example, if I think that maybe this big blue area here is maybe just a little bit empty and boring, what I can do is pick a different color. I'm just going to pick red. And I can take some of this red paint and add more details on top of the dry blue paint. Now, since the background is dry instead of wet, that red paint isn't going to blend. It's gonna just stay right where I put it on top of the blue paint. So I could add extra little line details like this. Maybe I want to add another line to this area. And that pink is not blending with the yellow since the yellow is dry. It's just staying right on top. So I really, really love to go back and paint on top of dry paint because we can add even more line designs than we had last time. Let's see one more little spot down here that's maybe just a little bit needs something. I'm gonna add some blue dots down here. So this is your chance today to really double check your artwork and make sure that you have added all the line designs that it needs.